So this just came in from Amazon. I'm gonna do my best to uh, open it so you can see it. But uh, this is a pretty, I don't wanna say it's a cheap, but it's a very uh, inexpensive uh, projector. It's supposed to be a projector and a 100 inch screen. And uh, this was all, it was normally 99 and for some reason I got a discount on it, so it was 78. $78, and it's supposed to be usable outside. Obviously, that's what we're gonna do. We wanna use it outside, and um, there is a screen there, simple screen projector. I'm going to build a, a, a very simple frame for it, and uh, this is actually should be should be able to uh, hook this up uh, uh, via screencast with the, uh, with the iPhone. So, let's see what we got here. Pretty compact, that's good. Technology these days, I remember when I had a projector before with a, when I ran a restaurant and it was like that big and it weighed like 20, 30 pounds easy. This thing might weigh like two pounds maximum. But uh, let's see what you can see here. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let's see here. Nisu, I guess is the name, but uh, there's all the controls on the top. There's the keystone and the focus feature. Obviously that's where the power goes. And oh look, there's all of your inputs as well. So uh, hopefully I've got, uh, I got an output there so I can put an external speaker with it as well. But uh, we're gonna try and set it up and see how it works. So there's that, we get this box along with it, which I'm assuming is just the power cord. Oh, it's all, hey, it comes with a whole slew of stuff that you, you can need. There's a cap for your cover your lens perfect there's your cables oh my gosh we got a remote control cleaning utensils there's a mini screwdriver in there as well power cord hdmi so wow <laughs> that's a uh, that's a pretty good bargain we'll see what the picture quality looks like a little later tonight uh, when i get it set up so I'm not gonna bore you with all the unwrapping of this stuff. You obviously understand if you have a remote control that you take it out and you need to put batteries in it, which it does not come with from what I can see. So remember that. Looks like it takes uh, some triple A's there and uh, I'll get all this set up. And if there's anything wonky during the setup, I'll, uh, I'll share it with you, but it looks like it's pretty straightforward. There we go. All right, so the screen came packed with it and here it is, this is the screen. And you gotta be careful, don't rip this packaging that it comes in because that's where your instructions are. And they're pretty self-explanatory. And here's the uh, hardware that comes for it. And I'm gonna use this to put it up on the outside of the house, but later I will uh, I will actually make, I'm gonna make a, a PVC frame for this to keep it stretched pretty tight. And uh, we're gonna see if this will work here in a little bit. Okay, again, just a test. So we're going to hang it on the fence right there so that, uh, we we'll just get a test on the projector and see how well it does connecting to the Wi-Fi uh, right in the house over there, which is about uh, 20 feet away. So give me a minute and you'll see how I do this. So you can clearly see all I did was put up two by four there, two by four there, and make sure they're level across. They just need to be level across. And I measured the, uh, the screen width, which was 84, which should go almost post to post. And then uh, 54, top to bottom, which should go down to uh, that bottom uh, railing there. So I'm just gonna mark, put some screws in there so I can hang it on there. It's got eyelets in the, uh, in the uh, screen itself, and then we'll stretch it out tight and see what happens. Well, there's my janky screen set up. That's just to test out the projector for tonight. And once it gets dark, we'll get it going. All right, here we go, all set up, and it is literally self-explanatory. It's so easy. Uh, the projector's about, I don't know, about eight feet away from the actual screen, but I've got my fire stick hooked up to it through uh, USB, I mean the uh, HDMI, it just literally plugs right in. You can also mirror your, uh, your iPhone from it just by uh, making sure that the uh, projector, which is, has Bluetooth, is on your uh, Wi-Fi connection, the same one as the phone. So we got some Netflix here, let's see what happens. We'll see what the sound is like here. Also, comes with that handy dandy remote. The only uh, the only thing about the remote that I've found is you gotta make sure that it's pointing right directly uh, at the projector. First world problems, I know. And you can see, 
Nope, oh, you can hear it. Let's give it some volume. I've never been through it before. Oh, you have to. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You really like... And let's see here. See, let's watch something here. Let's watch Blacklist. How about that? I don't want to violate any copyrights, so I won't show it uh, for too long, but you guys can see how well this thing works. Again, it was, uh, it was $99, and I got a discount for using uh, Capital One. How will it happen? So, the there you have you know, it. It's blessing. amazing. Great quality. The life you've requested. So, there it is, completely dark outside. And uh, before, you could see some uh, shadowing from behind it because my neighbor had his porch light on, but he doesn't now. Uh, this thing looks great. Uh, hopefully, this helped you, and hopefully, you enjoyed it. If uh, you did, if you don't mind hitting a thumbs up and uh, I will have another video showing you how I make the, uh, the frame for the screen.